Welcome to another video from Dr. Locke. In this video we're going to be looking up missing cuts. So this is helpful if you've got a broken key or only half a key or if you're key reading and you're going to try and find the code for a lock. So we're actually going to look it up then use Instacode on the Silca Futura and cut it to code. Two, one, three, three, four, two, one. Okay, so I've just started up the Futura and it says update, don't want to update. Now I did a read on that lock and I got 12432, uh, 12433. So I don't want to waste any key blanks. So what I might do is I might just see what I can find from it. So I went standard keys and I know the key blank. So LW3, drop that down, do the search, Silka search okay so there's our key blank uh, number of cuts five that sounds that sounds good so there's our spacing there's that so um, partial cuts partial cuts so partial bidding and whatnot so let's go with what we definitely do know and we're going to go for a two here and a four here and a three here so if we only had half of it or a broken key or so we can do a search and see what it comes up with. So, these are the codes here. So the question is, was it a three at the end or was it a two at the end? So it could be a two at the end or it could even be a three at the end. And that will be our code 003 or 063. Let's try that. And also, we don't like all these uh, sharp burrs. Let's see if we can change that as well. Partial mini code decoding cuts. Don't think we can. That's annoying. Cut. Cut. Looks like we can't. Can't do that. So if this key's wrong. If this key's wrong, I'll be leaning towards that last cut and need to be a little bit deeper, so we're going to find out. <clears throat> Almost right. Not quite. So basically when we were reading it, it was very hard to gauge the first two discs. So when I was reading I called it as a one and a two. We definitely could identify the four and we know it was a three and a two. So we thought it might have been a three and three, but definitely a three and a two. So the first two discs were hard to gauge. So if we had partial cuts here, we know what the cuts are now. Let's say we had partial cuts, and all we had was the last ones, four, three, and two. Oh, we can't do it that way. Go back to the card. Uh, partial cuts. Four, three, two. We've got four, three, and two. So now we could do a search and have a look. Could it, it could be one, two, or it could be two, three, or two, two, or one, one. So definitely not one, one. And we already tried um, one, two. So it looks as if it's actually two, three. So there we are there. Two, four, five would be our code. Okay. Two, three, four, three, two. Cut. Yep, lower this one. And cut. Do, 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 do. Yep. There's one cut, and then you cut another one. Now with these keys here, they actually have the shoulder, so you can just slam it in there, and you'll actually notice that, that lines up there. So before we do anything else, we're just going to check this. Which one was it? Check both. Ah, this one. Here's our lock. 
and it turns effortlessly. Locked, unlocked, locked, unlocked. So that was the one. So that's the right key now. And we also do now know the code as well, so we can record that just in case we ever need it. So it was 254. That's our indirect code. And there's our second key. Okay. Because it's a disc lock, I always like to put a little bit of this in there just to get any rust or corrosion away. One. Locked. And unlocked. Works like brand new. Okay, thanks for watching.